Hello, looks like we're recording. So, um, we're in Blender, and what we're doing today is HDRI rendering. So, one of the things we would like to do, I've been following a tutorial I found on YouTube, um, but uh, I just wanted to make it absolutely clear. This is this video. It's for me, basically, just so that I can see what we're doing. So, I'm gonna just uh, zoom into this mirror ball here, so we can see. Basically, we have HDRI um, image map lighting the scene only. I've deleted the default lamp in here, and this up here is the node flow for said HDRI lighting. Now, it looks a little complicated, but um, added a couple of things which I was following on this video tutorial. One of them is I can um, uh, rotate the image map for the environment using this. So I've got texture coordinate node into a mapping node that goes into environment texture and basically the Z channel is the rotation and if we sort of zoom around here we can see we've got the sun moving around it actually looks like I've got two suns doesn't it how cool is that yay two suns that's weird uh, yeah so there you go and uh, we've got it set to environment texture equirangular thingy or mirror ball I don't know what do you reckon I think the uh, other one is what we want and uh, okay so that's that and then the other thing we've got here so uh, generally speaking when you have an environment uh, HDRI lighting the scene have I got ambient occlusion on nope right cool um, you get soft lighting if you want to harden this lighting up to get um, strong looking shadows yeah more defined shadows then you add this shenanigans in, which are two math nodes. So you come out your color texture, you go straight in. This is basically working off the strength. So if we just leave this at one, so you get these soft soft lighting basically, and this is how much lighting you can like overcook it and make it really bleached, or we'll just set it back to being one, which is the default value. Um, if we have a multiply and then an add, we can then sharpen these up a bit. So I'm going to drop this down to about, I don't know, 0.7. And you see these are still uh, soft. If I go here, we can see we can harden these shadows up. How cool is that? We'll go uh, point uh, 0.16. Yeah, so we, we can definitely see the shadows are hardening up here. If we go back down to zero again. Yeah, super soft shadows. Yeah, and I'm not that back to one. So that's what that's about. And that, children, is it. So that's the node flow. Because um, in the video, it's sort of running around a little box. It's hard to see everything all in one place. So that will help me. And that is basically it. That's it. There you go. Um, so concludes to video. Right, how do we find where it's gone? That one. There we go. Right. Um, cup of tea. Catch you later. Bye.